raggedy bits and a big welcome to our first five, first of the five chairs that we're going to be making over in our five chair challenge. This little number uh, used to actually be my study chair uh, from many moons ago when I used to <laughs> when back in high school. Um, and I think it's an Ikea, an old Ikea chair. I'm pretty sure my parents bought it from Ikea. So um, it's been around for a little while and it's a great little uh, handy uh, stool to have, oh, sorry, chair to have uh, down here in the workshop um, for when I do hold my workshops. So first off, what we're going to do um, is, because I know that it hasn't been cleaned for a very long time, so I want to make sure that uh, I'm going to create a really good canvas for me to be painting on to start off with. So I'm going to start cleaning with the Fusion TSP. I love this stuff. It is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, it just gets rid of all of the tannins in the wood, um, gets any um, you know, grime, as I said, any buildup of um, furniture polish, um, which does happen over time, you know, when you come along and you scratch your furniture and you get all that, that's build up and also a lot of furniture polish. Um, so it's good, always good when you're painting any piece to give it a good old clean. And this stuff is awesome because you don't have to wash it up, uh, sorry, wash it off um, when you've cleaned. So I've just got some warm water here and I'm just going to pop in some of the TSP like so and just giving it a little bit of a stir and then grabbing an old rag I'm just going to go to town with giving it a clean. As you can see, look at all the gunklets coming off. It's just amazing what it does. And it's so easy to use. dry and I'm not sure if it, I hope you can see but on here the it's like the ester pole that it was sealed in um, has sort of over time it just has deteriorated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some sandpaper and I'm just going to give it a light scrub over uh, because it does have a bit of a sheen on it um, but uh, that's just to sort of open up the pores of the wood so that um, when I paint it's got something to adhere to um, and it'll also just get rid of any of the little um, bits of estopole that are starting. Okay, so I'm just going to be using 120 grit sandpaper. I don't want to go in too hard. Um, as I said, I just want to just scuff it up a little bit and get rid of any of the loose uh, estopole that is on the chair and just give something to paint a little bit more to adhere to. trusty old uh, Klingon F30. Um, I'm, the reason I've picked this is because it's a good size for these slats because I didn't want it to sort of like drip all through the, the middle bit. I'm just going to go ahead and give the whole entire chair one coat of raw silk, fusion raw silk. painting chairs there's always so many fiddly bits which is part of the reason why they drive me nuts <laughs> but it's always worth it in the end
two coats of Fusion uh, Raw Silk. I've let that completely dry and also cure for about two hours. And now I'm going to get busy painting with some, or putting on a coat of the Fusion Ultra Grip. Uh, my idea, my crazy idea uh, to sort of dress this uh, chair up is that over on Facebook I asked you if you uh, could help me out with choosing a paper. So I'm going to decoupage this onto the chair slats and possibly across the back here. Um, and thank you, uh, this was clearly the winning paper. Um, so let's get on with putting the Ultra Grip on. So I'm just going to give it a good shake, make sure everything's all nicely combined. I'm just going to pop a little bit out into a cup. You could also use out onto a paper plate. And then just using a cheapy brush, I'm just going to apply that just to the slats. Making sure that I get um, over the edges as well, because I'll essentially I want the paper to stick nicely over the edges as well. Is why I don't like using cheapy brushes when I'm painting because the bristles fall out. <laughs> so what the Ultra Grip is essentially going to do is it's going to act as the glue and we're going to use an iron and this will make it go on, Make once it's dry um, it will make the uh, glue react in the Ultra Grip and will react with the paper. In, give you a nice smooth surface. Sometimes when you're decoupaging we all know you can get bubbles but this this technique is really cool because you don't get those bubbles. Okay so I'm just going to let that completely dry and then I'll give it another coat uh, just to make sure I haven't missed any of the um, inside the slats um, in down and down the side of each slat and then we'll get on with putting the paper on. The chair's now had two coats of Ultra Grip and now I'm going to go about um, applying the paper. So I'm just going to take my sheet, sorry my roll of paper and I'm just going to roughly cut out um, so what I might do is I might use the straight edge along one side. I'm just going to chop off a bit. And if you're wondering where I got this paper from, it was from Aldi, <laughs> of all places. A couple, I think it was Mother's Day this year. basically using the same technique as what I would use for uh, when I make my draw liners and I'll leave a link below uh, with the tutorial on that so if you're ever looking to for a simple easy way to you know uh, line your drawers on any furniture that you make over rather than getting um, buying in expensive paper I can show you a really simple way on how to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to use the straight edge and butt it all the way up against the edge of the chair. And I'm just going to rub my ha hand over the, I'll just chop off this little bit of excess I've got here. I'm just 
just going to run my fingernail down the edge there just to get a nice sharp line and just make sure that there's no sort of bubbles okay and just taking an old rag this is an old tea towel I'm just going to lie this across the top of the paper and then using an iron um, make sure that it is not set on um, any steam you don't want any steam coming through at all and a really hot iron and I'm just going to run over the entire base of the chair and you want to keep doing this a couple of times so that you can I just keep running it over the paper and what this does the heat from the iron then reacts makes the glue react in the ultra grip and that way it then makes the paper stick nicely to the chair I'm just going to pop that down for a minute and then what I'm going to do and once you see that the bubble there's a couple of them there's a few bubbles here but that's in the actual gaps but I'm going to show you how to fix that um, and get nice clean straight edges so now that I've kind of got that on I'm just going to grab a craft knife and I'm going to go as close as I can to the edge and I'm just going to run it along the edge part um, because what I'm actually going to do is put, is distress along um, the edges because I want to sort of blend it in a little bit with the uh, with this sort of shabby kind of vintage look I've got going on here um, so I'm going to seal it with um, fusion tough coat because obviously the, oh, hopefully there'll be a lot of bums on seats excuse my French um, so when using um, the fusion tough coat it's a good um, idea not to shake it because uh, you don't want to get air bubbles in it and the uh, tough coat ends up sitting in the bottom um, of the bottle when it's sitting on the shelf for a bit and you're not using it so the best um, way to sort of mix it up is just to roll it around in your hand hands I should say until you uh, get it all nicely mixed up so I'm just going to give this a mix before I start distressing so that I'll be then good to go uh, with finishing off the top of the chair. Okay. So just using my 120, set, uh, whoops, 120 grit sandpaper, sorry I'm just throwing things around. 
I'm just going to go along the edges of the chair where it's going to wear. Um, that's my general rule of thumb when I'm distressing. Just being a little bit careful that I obviously don't hit the paper because then otherwise I'll end up, you'll end up scratching the paper. Okay, so just coming along with the chucks cloth, I'm just going to apply, you can also use a, uh, um, a sponge brush if you wish. Um, but I just for this purpose, because it's a uh, only like skinny bits and I want to be a bit careful that I don't get it on the chair, the wood part of the chair, I'm just going to wipe it on. And I'll probably give it two coats just for that added protection. And I'm just being light with it, I'm not being heavy handed. finish off the chair I'm just going to run my graph brush and some fusion clear wax uh, over the finished chair and we are done number one chair done and dusted And that completes our first chair project uh, for our five chair challenge. I'll be sure to leave all the links below with all the products that I used um, along with the tutorial over on my blog. Uh, just one little reminder to make sure that you use something in between your iron and the ultra grip because you don't want that glue to seep through and obviously uh, essentially break your iron. So make sure that you use either a tea towel or parchment paper. And it's also um, really cool to use if you want to uh, attach a, a serviette or a napkin to your furniture, makeovers, drawer inserts, that sort of thing if you want to make it a permanent fix. Anyway, I look forward to bringing you another project tomorrow. Bye for now.